Hi everyone, my name is Omar, and today, thank you, today I want to show you what a four-dimensional cube looks like. So, since I only have 10 minutes, without further ado, here it is. <laughs> so how many people have already seen this before? Okay, so I could just end my talk here, but when I first saw this, um, I didn't know exactly what was so 4D about this, like how is this not just, you know, regular three-dimensional object that just happens to like be moving in this weird um, way and going inside and outside of itself. So this is what I'll be trying to sort of answer in the next um, nine and a half minutes. So how can you, how do you even begin to like think about how do you see a four-dimensional object? Like we're, we're stuck in this like three-dimensional world. Like there's no way I can point to a fourth direction that isn't included in our, in the space. So we can start with a, with a simpler question. How do we see 3D? How do we see the world around us? So we can take a simple example. Here's um, a three-dimensional cube, just a box, you know, nothing fancy. You know it's three-dimensional because you can see the top, you know, two sides. And you can't see it, but you know there's like a back uh, and two more sides, so six faces in total. Now what about this? This is just the outline of that cube, but we still recognize it as three-dimensional. So that means like you know that each face here is a perfect square, even if it doesn't look like it. So if you, if we look at one of the sides here, like this, um, you know, this is just the left side. Um, this looks nothing like a square, right? Like this is more, if you see if, if for what it's drawn, this is almost more like a weird parallelogram, trapezoid sort of thing. Um, but we know how to interpret this. Like for example, you know that line A is shorter than line B, it looks that way because A is further away, but you know they're sp supposed to both be the same um, size. In the same way with like the top here, like this, like you, here you see it as a square, but you know, like this looks more like a, a weird diamond sort of shape, and like this angle, you know it's supposed to represent 90 degrees, but it clearly isn't. This is more like a, you know, barely 30 degrees sort of thing. So all this is to say that you can't see anything without doing some sort of interpretation, that you can't actually see 3D with your eyes, it's, it's your brain that puts together the three-dimensional um, image. So if you could actually see in 3D, that means you'd be able to see all six faces of a cube at once, which you can't. Contrast that with how you can actually, you can actually see all four sides of a square or any two-dimensional shape at once. You can't actually see a full, um, 2D. So if your brain can learn to put together a higher dimensional um, shape from these lower dimensional images, um, why can't we do it for one more dimension up? So in general, the way we do that, we, we tend to rely on the projections that our eyes receive. And the easiest way to think about that for this talk is, uh, you can think of it as a shadow. So the shadow cast by any three-dimensional object is going to be a flat you know, 2D um, representation, so you can see okay, like this shadow on the floor is flat, and even though on the, the sides here look like trapezoids, but again, you know that those are squares. Another way is to take a slice. A sl any slice of a three-dimensional object is gonna be uh, two-dimensional, and you can easily see that. So that's the same thing here. So this, um, this popular animation of a four-dimensional cube is a shadow of the four-dimensional cube. And the reason it's moving this way is because the cube is rotating. So, and this is the same thing that would actually happen if we rotated this cube. So I can actually show you here. Um, so, so first of all, notice that in the same way that this is a cube within a cube, here we have, it looks like a square within a square, right? And look at one of the, the, the sides that looks like a trapezoid. Or actually, let's focus, on, focus your eyes on the, on the middle square, the smaller square. And notice how as I rotate, you know, that slowly morphs and it's gonna be, now it squishes and it's, you know, it's, test, it's, it's, it's a trapezoid now. And this keeps happening, you know. So try to force yourself to see it like, you might go between like, you know, it looks like a natural cube on the floor there, but it's, it's not, it's just a bunch of flat lines and they can get squished. So that's exactly what's happening there. Um, this is the three-dimensional equivalent of exactly what we're seeing here. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, we can actually go um, see, see live. So this is the viewer um, 
that I built. This is the 3D version of it where you see on the left you have um, the projection of the cube, um, of, of the shape in general, and on the right you have a slice. So I can actually move the slicing plane and take any um, slice from it. So same thing um, I can do in, in 4D. So here the, the, like I said, the slice, any slice of, um, any slice of a four-dimensional object is gonna be three-dimensional. And slicing a four-dimensional cube gives me a 3D cube. So, so you know how the sides of a cube are squares? So the sides of a four-dimensional cube are all cubes. And there's eight sides, um, there's eight faces to this four-dimensional cube. So can you see eight cubes in in this um, in this representation, there's going to be eight faces. So one of them is easy to see, right? One of them is the is this one in the middle. The other one on the other side is up here. And then and then this is one. Although this does not look like a like a cube, but that's again only because the way it's rotated. So I can actually rotate this. And you can see it's actually just a cube. <laughs> so same thing here, and then you have, and then the rest, or you can pick them out, they're easier. Right? Then there's one, two, and then on the other sides as well. So now you know, so this, this, this four-dimensional cube has eight faces, and they're all cubes, and you can point out where the eight cubes are. But then here's an interesting question. Where, um, where's the inside and the outside of this shape? So, so as I move this thing around, um, it, you know, it shows you the slice on the right side. So here I know that I've moved outside of the shape because I don't see a slice on the right anymore. Now here's a weird thing that I, I didn't understand the first time I did this. Um, so here I am inside the shape and then if I go all the way in, it disappears. So it's like there's a hole in there, which there shouldn't be. But this is actually the same thing as, um, as if I did this. And so it looks like from this angle, well actually, yeah, let me move this back. So I'm moving here and suddenly the, the, the slice on the right has disappeared and it looks like it's, you know, the, the plane is still on top of the shape. Why isn't it there? But obviously it's just because it's, you know, it's under it. And that's actually the same thing here. And again, so if you rotate this, we'll be able to see the same thing. So let me make this a little obvious here. Okay, so you ready? So, so it's actually outside of it. And same thing here, so this is actually outside. So just because this looks like it's encompassing the whole thing, but again, this is actually outside. <laughs> and this is the same thing, thank you, this is the same thing as, as this. This looks like it's you know, overlapping it, but you know, it's not. Um, so, where was I? Um, so, now you know that we don't actually see, um, in 3D we just see, all, everything we can see is in 2D and our brain can interpret projections uh, of 3D objects uh, to put together that image. Um, generally, there's two ways to see any higher dimensional object. You can look at the shadow or you can look at a slice. Um, that popular animation you see is the shadow. Um, you have eight sides for a 4D cube. Uh, and now you can actually, when you see the animation, you can actually point out where's the inside and where's the outside. And you know, like going deeper into that hole in the middle is not actually a hole, it's going further than the edge um, of the cube. And I have one more minute, so I can actually show you um, one more fun thing. So one thing that's fun is to see if you can practice guessing the higher dimensional shape from the lower dimensional slices, and it's easier to do in, in 3D. So let me, so I just hid the right side, the left side, and I'm gonna, hopefully text is too small for you to guess what's going on here. So, so what do you think this shape is? I'm moving this, this plane up and down, and I'm getting a circle that goes bigger and smaller. It's a sphere, and, uh, yeah, sphere. Okay, now here's a slightly more difficult one. So moving up and down again. So it, look, it looks like some kind of you know, blocky shape, but if I choose a different axis, what do you think this is? It is, yeah, it's exactly similar. And you can see if I go this way. Okay, now here's the final challenge. So, um, oh yeah, yeah, this is super wonky, look at that. What the heck is going on here? 
So this is super weird, right? Like it's like this morphing shape, like it's not even connected to itself. Uh, let me go through this. So this is, and it's because, yeah, here you go. So that's where these, these little circles come from. Yeah, so this is all online. You can put in any geometric shape. In fact, let me try to break here real quick. Uh, I don't, mm, oh wow, I didn't even, I've never seen them before. <laughs> Interesting, yeah, so you can put in any, any equation and it'll draw that. Um, it's online, here's my, yeah, thank you.